Now, if you're someone who only eats pizza when it's delivered to your house in a box, we're here to show you how easy it is to make it at home yourself. Chef Paul Lilikis has come up with a simple way to make stuffed crust deep dish pizza from scratch, and he is joining us this morning. That sounds like a lot of steps, Paul. Hey, you know, Anne-Marie, it's not a lot of steps. It's easy to make at home, and this is fun to do with the kids. Who doesn't love a pizza party, right? Right. I mean, when we can have parties, they're great. <laughs> That's right. I mean, but if you got kids at home and you need something to do, you want to get oh, their yeah. hands dirty, kids love playing with dough, kids love pizza, and this is a simple way to make a stuffed crust deep dish skillet pizza right at home. Okay, where do we start? Okay, so it all starts with the dough and, a, and an oven-safe skillet. So you need an oven-safe skillet. You could do a, use a, uh, a cast iron skillet or one of these, just a nonstick skillet, but make sure the handle is oven safe. And I've got a pretty basic pizza dough here and I've let it rest. So, you know, when sometimes you're dealing with pizza dough and it springs back, it means it's not relaxed. It's not ready. You can't brush it, just give it more time. I put it in the skillet with a little bit of olive oil underneath and now we're gonna stuff the crust. So I'm using string cheese. Ooh. It's not really a secret, it's well known. And you just press it at the edge and flip it over. So you see how easily yeah. the dough flips over? That's because I've let it relax. You know, just like somebody getting ready to go to a party, you can't rush it. Just gotta you let can't it rush relax. It, they'll bounce back. That's right, just relax. So I'm stuffing in six of these cheese strings, and that's all there is to the stuffed crust part. And you see, a lot of oil is coming over because I put, did put two tablespoons under there. It might seem like a lot because it is, but that's <laughs> because that's how you get that crispy bottom deep dish Chicago style crust. Got it. Okay, now, now we've got the we've got this the stuff. No, the crust stuffed. The crust now what do we put stuffed. on top? <laughs> All right, simple. I'm making a very simple one here. Just some pizza sauce, not a lot, like about a half a cup. You don't need to go crazy. You don't want this too wet. A little goes a long way. Just spread that out. And then some cheese. I like a mixture of pizza mozzarella. It's got that nice stretch to it. So about a cup and a half of that. And then a little bit of Asiago, totally optional on Ooh, top. Oh yeah, that's a nice mix. Yeah, just for a little extra salty a little kick, tame. a little extra flavor. You don't need to, but I like it. And then some pepperoni. And when it comes to pepperoni, I like a dried, cured pepperoni. One that's nice and salty, really thin, and just layer those on. These are the ones that get nice and crispy in the oven. And yeah, they've just got that really salty pop that you want in your mouth. So I'm just layering those on. Of course, you could use whatever topping you like. What's your favorite topping, Emery? Okay, so I know this is very debatable, but I really do like... Hawaiian pizza. I like the tang, oh. I like the sweet and the salty together. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't oh, think I like it should be so that. controversial. Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, <laughs> I think it's fine. I'm in the fine. middle. I'm somewhere in the middle. I like the sweet and salty. So I got the pepperonis on and now just a little bit of garlic seasoning on the crust. So basically the crust oh, is going to turn so into salty. like a garlicky cheese bread. And then all you have to do is bake this off. Hot, hot oven, always for pizza. So four, uh, 475 for Ooh. about 25 minutes. And of course, I have one here that I made in my cast iron skillet. And it just slides out like that. Just like that. And then you bring it to the table. This is what I like about a pizza party. You keep busting them out, eat them a slice at a time, get the kids involved, and that's all okay. there is to it. Paul, it looks so good. I have a question for you, though. Sometimes yeah. with pizza, when you're making it, especially when you're doing it like with a crust like that, how do you make sure mm -hmm. that the the crust part doesn't burn on the edges and that it's cooked evenly all the way through because sometimes that's that middle part. So, okay, so I mean, I tested this recipe quite a few times to get the optimal temperature, the optimal amount of dough, and at about 25 minutes, I tested it in the nonstick skillet, which is thinner, and the cast iron, which is thicker, mm -hmm. and about 25 minutes made for a perfectly cooked inner crust. It's puffy, it's got that nice caramelization on the bottom, mm. and you can see it's got that stuffed crust. So, I mean, Bottom line is, just if it needs a little more time, put it back in. But follow the recipe. This is why I write recipes and bring them to share with you guys. <laughs> I like that there's a little bit of scolding in there. Listen, just follow the <laughs> recipe. I made it for you. I tested it many times. It does look really, really good. One final tip that you had, which I love, which is don't scrimp on the toppings, meaning if you have to spend a bit more to get the good Italian sausage, do it. Totally. So when it comes to this pepperoni, I mean, the dry cured pepperoni can sometimes be a little more expensive, but it's so worth it. I mean, sometimes an extra dollar goes a long way in just quality of a product. So I went to an Italian market, go figure, to get the best pepperoni. Oh, looks so good. Paul, thanks so much. A lot of fun. Thanks. All right. And of course, Paul's recipe, which he's making sure that you follow, is on our social media pages.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.